According to the United Nations, six out of seven people on the planet have access to a mobile phone. Many of these devices are regularly worn or carried by a single person in their bag or in their pocket, and they're frequently touched by that person's hands. That's why researchers in the US state of Oregon decided to look at whether a unique selection of thousands of naturally occurring microbes that populate our skin are also present on the phones. They looked at 7,000 different microbes commonly found on people's hands and found 82% of them were also present on their phones. Each person's cell phone has more in common with him or her than with anyone else in the room, right? So my cell phone has some of the very unique bacteria that I have in and on my body and that don't show up necessarily in your body, and your phone has that same signal that is personalized to you. The discovery opens up the potential to use mobile phones as bacterial and environmental sensors. This could include real-time screening of the smartphones of healthcare workers and hospital visitors, rather than the people themselves. In the foreseeable future, we might have some sort of device, say, in a, in a hospital, where a nurse or a doctor, at the end of the day, can put their cell phone down and in a matter of a few minutes they'll know whether there's a good risk of taking dangerous pathogens out of the hospital home to their families or in the beginning of the day bringing something into the hospital. Let's open up the exercise app to see how it works. There's also growing interest in personal health and fitness technology. The researchers say the possibility of adding personal microbe analysis into the phones could greatly enhance this even allowing authorities to track the spread of disease in a population or giving the owner of a cell phone an alert when he or she have been exposed to harmful microbes or environmental threats. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.